Why are teachers showing students how to multiply with this wacky strategy? Does this new strategy, this new area model thing confuse you too? You're not alone, but I want to challenge you to get a little bit out of your comfort zone to learn a strategy that can really help your students or your own children. Because this strategy is extremely helpful to help students understand how multiplication works. Oh, and by the way, it's not really new. It's been around for years and years. It's based on how students' brains actually learn math. Here's how it works. Let's say we're multiplying 34 by 28. With this area model, we can break 34 into two parts, or decompose it into two parts, into 30 and 4, the tens and the one. And we can break 28 into 20 and 8, the tens and the ones. By looking at it this way, it's sometimes easier for students to think about, well, I know 2 times 3 is 6, so 20 times 30 is 600, and 20 times 4 is 80. What we just found here are the partial products after we decompose the numbers. When we combine all the partial products, we get the full product. This actually looks quite a bit like the standard algorithm. However, the visual of the area model can help students to really understand why we're adding those numbers and where those numbers came from, as opposed to just memorized rules. Oh, and there's no magic zero anymore. Instead of just telling students that a rule works and that a procedure works and just do it over and over again, we really want to help students understand why it might work and to understand the conceptual understanding of what multiplication actually means. This strategy can be extremely helpful to do that.